Hello there, it's uh, me Ramona and my little friend Minnie Mo here and we are going to show you how to log yourself in and start with Pixton for Schools. And Pixton.com is um, a website that you can use at any time with any, you know, as long as you're willing to pay the cost of the of, of their subscription to make cartoons. Uh, but thanks to uh, the Ministry of Education, I believe OSAPAC, we now have free access to Pixton for Schools in all Ontario schools. So I'm going to show you how to get yourself an account. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in pixton.com backslash on for Ontario. And there you go. So just make sure you get the right one coming up there. Okay, yeah, and there that's what you get coming up on your screen. Okay, don't sign up here yet. We want you to try Pixton now, and then you see a welcome to Ontario teachers. So, your next step is to find your school board. So, I am Thames Valley. There we are, and you have to put in your work email. Now, I already have an account, and I want to show you how to start your account. So, I am going to type in a friend here. Who has allowed me to do this for her? Type in your work email and submit. Okay. And then they want your real name. And it's up to you whether you want to consent to receive emails and so forth. Okay, so then you're going to decide, are you going to use it as a creative writing tool or as an assessment tool? Um, I usually pick the creative writing tool. Yeah, bear with me as it loads. And there we go, account settings. So they would send you a confirmation link to your email, your school email. And then you have to uh, make sure that you sign in from that link that they send to you, and then you can get started. So I'm just gonna pause this for a sec. Okay, so now I have logged back into my own account just so you can see what's going on because she's gonna wanna create her own um, avatar and account. It will um, take you through the setup, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create your avatar, and here's mine right here. I don't like her quite as much as the old Bitstrips avatars, but you know, she'll do. And then you can start creating your activities. So uh, current activities I have going right now, I have them working on a, a Pioneer Life poster. And you create the assignment and you can attach a, a cartoon that they've already created. You can pick up an assignment that's already in the bank that they have, or you can create your own cartoon and attach it to it so that they can have a, an exemplar of what you're looking for. So I did one on Pioneer Life. I had them create a scene from Pioneer Life. Uh, this was mine. I had students creating farmers and um, I had students creating, you can see them here, there's a farmer in his field and we had um, we have one there uh, with the crops. We had them talking to each other. We had one plowing the crops. So you can see that they uh, they were right into that. And I, I thought it would take them a little longer to pick up how to do it, but they did it in no time. Using the comics is pretty simple. There are some really great tutorials on YouTube that will take you through uh, the, the setup. The kids, I showed them just the basic YouTube uh, video for how to get started on Pixton, and they all right away were able to do it. And most of them created a comic in less than one period, less than 75 minutes. So they probably, you know, I have a developmental class. You're probably not going to have too much trouble um, getting them to create a very simple assignment in no time. And then we'll go back to home. But you can see there is a whole educator community there. Here's a couple from my educator community feed. 
You can link up with other educators who are on there through private messages. I haven't done that. Uh, you can get reports on your completed activities. I don't have one currently that's finished, so there's no reports in that. And you can look at your current activities. Setting up your students is also very simple that they take you through when you first start. You set up their name, you set up their account, their password, or you can give them a link and they can join. So it's up to you how you want to set that up. And each, as you do each activity, the students, um, uh, everything before it's published comes to you to be approved. So if there's a spelling mistake, you can send it back for them to fix. Uh, you can print it off to the display in your classroom. You can publish it in the gallery. So all kinds of options with Pixton. But hopefully now you know how to get started. And, and you will because it's a great, great, free, accessible uh, cartoon creator for us.